Okay, so now we're finally going to get to the biggest milk of all. So they've been soaking for two days, not on purpose, was because of the snowstorm. It's 106, so this is really the time that you'll be watching that requires the amount of work. Everything until now has not required any work. It has just required soaking. So these are our three ingredients. Soybean, one cup of soybean, eight cups of tap water, and we're going to put in three or four prunes and the probiotic for to make yogurt. These have been soaking overnight. I hope you can see them because it's been so cold here in my kitchen. It's been in the 50s. A little warmer now, Okay. Here's where the yogurts will come to sit and rest. And also, just a reminder how cold it's been. And the reason I'm showing you that is often yogurt is made in sterile conditions and temperature control. And I just want to show you that's not necessary. And also, just want to show you that we're doing this say all the bobby cats who are disposed of right after birth because they will never make milk and we're doing it for all the girl calves who have their lives stripped from them because the milk is going to the or going to us and of course we're doing it for the mommy cow who spends her whole life in slavery this isn't so much about soy milk today as it is, although we're going to make soy milk first and then we're going to make the soy yogurt. A lot of people have asked me about it and have worked on it fairly diligently trying to solve the problem of soy milk. And I think I've done that by getting these probiotics. There's 60 tablets in here. We're going to use, I guess, I'm going to use four caplets in this mixture, so that means it's 70 caplets, $2.10 for this batch of yogurt that we're going to make. Soybeans, when they soak up, they become oval, very pretty. This is the water that these have been soaking in for two days, and if it were hot outside, I would change the water, but because it's been so cold, I'm not going to change it. And because we're making yogurt, I'm going to uh, be grinding the prune into, into the milk. Oh, cool. See, this is why I love soy. It's so beautiful. Look how that's already gotten so well mixed up. So I'm going to pour it in here because this can't get any finer. And as the other ones, I add the water slowly at the end or as needed because the main goal is to, you know, pulverize the beans and we incorporate the water after the fact. I've learned the hard way how high up I need to keep things before it fall goes over. So I'd rather do smaller batches and not have to clean up the kitchen. Here, I'm going to use my hands. They're clean. I want to get all the soybeans out of there.
Now let's assume for a minute you don't like prunes, right? And by the way, they don't taste at all in the milk and the yogurt the way they taste in real life. I think they just add a little sweetness that you otherwise wouldn't get. So let's, but you do want to make yogurt and you want to make milk. So now would be the time to uh, split the split the batch up into milk without the prunes but you do need the prunes for the yogurt so uh, you judge how you go about doing that but for now I want to uh, put them in we do one two three four Okay, so I just spent uh, about 15 minutes looking for my uh, battery. The battery's running out, so I want to get to this important part. So here I have mixed up the prunes in here. So I'm just going to be working it in, basically. Working it in and blending and re-blending with the water uh, that we have. Then I'll heat it up in the double boiler and add the probiotic and let it sit for two days. Now in the bottom of this we'll have raw soy milk. You can add vanilla or sugar to this concoction and drink it as you like or just like this. If you weren't going to make yogurt, you would not have had to put the dried prunes. But I know that this probiotic uh, likes the dried prunes. Again, I think if you were doing this, I didn't. If I didn't have battery issues. I would go back and forth. I would put this back in here with some more water, beat it up, and push it through. But uh, I have put all the water in, and I'm going to try and squeeze some out. My hands are clean. So, I'm just going to put this back in there. So here we have, here we have raw soy milk. Very beautiful. To show you how beautiful it looks. I don't have any more measuring cups, but I'm sure that we're getting out about six or seven cups after having used uh, eight cups of tap water. Now, I'll show you the time in a minute, but I'll put it in the double boiler, bring it, uh, make it warm, and then I'll put in the probiotic. I'm not going to use all of it right now. I just want to show you by heating it up and then I'll put the probiotic. Okay, so it's going to go on there. Turn up the heat. And we'll see the time. So it's 140. So in theory, we've been working on this for about 30 minutes because I was looking around for my battery, which I can't find. And a little bit more. This is going to get hot, 
it'll get more frothy, frothy, and then I'll put in I'll, I'll put in four of these probiotics, and then they will sit for two days. And if it happens like it happened before, uh, we'll have yogurt. And then you can get used to seasoning it the way you like with various sugars and I don't know what else. But the important thing is getting it to be yogurt, vegan yogurt. And here's here's your raw soy milk, which is just delicious. So here we have raw soy milk. When this gets heated up, we'll have cooked soy milk or uh, not raw soy milk. And then from the not raw soy milk, I'll make yogurt. And now I'll keep looking for my other batteries. Okay, you see it's getting bubbly on top. And I'm going to turn it off and let it get uh, room temperature. Then when it's room temperature, now you see I haven't even boiled it. I don't know what the temperature is. And if I had to make yogurt, by having a certain temperature, it would never happen for me because I'm just not organized enough. Let's see what time it is here. I'm still looking for my battery, so a little bit more time has passed. 156. So I've turned it off. I'll actually take it out of this pot and set it aside like I did with the almond milk. And then I'll record again once it's room, you know, a little bit more than room temperature. Uh, we'll put in these probiotics and then I will put them in these jars I have there already for them and then we'll test it in a few days. If you, uh, so here I wanted to recap, here's raw soy milk. Now we have cooked or unraw soy milk and then the next process will be to make yogurt which will be done in about two days. And I also want to emphasize, which is a, always a big deal, that people say it has to be very, very warm and climate controlled. Here in my kitchen, it won't be climate controlled. If anything, it will be determined by what the temperature is in here. And as we've seen, it's in the 50s in this corner where they'll be setting. Okay, got it out of the pot and it's just going to sit there and get cool and then we'll commence the commence with the probiotic. Very exciting. Well there's my girlfriend. I haven't seen her in a while. I do feed him out back and I'll give her something shortly. I love her so much. She comes and reminds me that she's there and okay, so now she'll climb up and then I'll put out uh, some peanuts out here. But forget about that for one minute, but I want to finish off this uh, really important yogurt lesson. Comes up, probably, okay, 227. So here's my soy yogurt. It's uh, still warm. But I think that's fine. Here I have all my soy jars. They're all different. So that's the way we'll remember them to see how they turn out. So I'm going to put in four of these. I've gone back and forth in, on the quantity, but I just want to make sure this works. So it'll be two ten, two dollars ten cents to make yogurt, soy yogurt and uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope it's not too warm. I think this is what you would give to a baby or maybe a little warmer than that. If you refine this recipe, please do and please send me your, your recipe and how you've managed it. Again, this would save hundreds and hundreds of cows. And if you teach your children how to do it and how to like these things, uh, of course it saves hundreds of dollars too. I mean, this was 210 for this, 
and of course a dollar for the soybean and we have about six cups of soy milk This isn't white, whitish because we have the prune in there. So here we go. I had done an experiment with other fruits and again the prune worked out the best. I had it with molasses, that went okay, but still not as nice as the cream. Okay, so there's my soy. I'm going to actually make, put it over here in this cool corner, again to show you how it works in any environment. Two thirty two. So the odd bo bottles are soy. And the two equal, two even, even bottles are almond. These will take at least two days from my experience, maybe longer, but then you'll see how it goes. Okay, so the camera's gone. Or no, the laptop is gone. And let's see if my squirrel is waiting for me now that I'm done. She usually stands up there. So I'll go and feed her. But in the meanwhile, I wanted you to see the yogurt containers. And I guess our lesson is over, but for two days or so. Thank you. Bye-bye. So it's two days after we made the milk. And it's still very cold here in the Northeast. As you can see, it's in the late afternoon. We had another snowstorm yesterday. There it is. And we will see if we have yogurt developing. I haven't touched there it is. I haven't touched anything. I've left it all the same. I just now turn the lights on. And you see there in the back it's about sixty one degrees been here all along and it's been very cold so I was cooking this afternoon and I think it heated up the corner but in general it's been a cold corner I haven't touched anything if you recall these are the soy yogurts uh, these are the almond yogurt samples I made soybean milk samples This is definitely yogurt-y. Can you see it? This had a prune in it. Definitely tangy. Definitely tangy. Like yogurt. I think I should add salt. Depending, maybe it should have either more prunes or see how it stands on its own but definitely yogurt yogurt like so the soy a little salt maybe some sugar to sweeten it if you want sweet but otherwise I would say that this is definitely a yogurt This, wow, definitely, look at that, put some sugar in it. 
So uh, go back over the recipe, but here we definitely have a yogurt. And what you need to know is, again, there were no blankets, there were no incubators, nothing was sterilized. This was made warm. When we put in the probiotics, there was no heat, no thermometers, just a little warm. Wow. So I think that's it. But anyway, this has been a success. Here are all four bottles. But, so there you go. So we have soy yogurt. Ta-da. Thank you. And I'll just recap the time. This was in the dead of winter. And we didn't... There we go. So it's February 27th, just 22nd, just a little bit before 6 p.m. In the dead of winter, uh, with the house quite cold. And so it worked. Goodbye.